In this topic, we will be discussing about the deuterostomes and there are the two groups in here, which are the echinoderms and hemichordates. So we'll be introducing these one by one and then we'll be discussing about these in later topics. So what are the deuterostomes? Uh, the deuterostomes are the organism which have the first opening to develop in the embryo and that embryo opening the, that is first developed that is an anus and the second forms the mouth. So the deuterostomes are the organism which are having two openings devel uh, in, developed in their embryos. The first opening that first develops that is the uh, uh, making an anus which is the organ for the expelling out all the uh, food uh, that, that has not been digested, right? So undigested food is expelled out and mouth which is uh, being eaten. So it is having, they are having some proto gut in their body structures. A dipleurula larva and a body cavity that is developed from an extension of the embryonic gut. So they have a dipleurula larva which is a type of larva and a body cavity that is developed from the extension of the embryonic gut. So they have the body cavity as well. So the first type of deuterostomes are the echinoderms and the other one are the hemichordates. So first we will be discussing about the echinoderms. The echinoderms are the organism which starfish and sea cucumber and they have very specialized uh, systems which are the water vascular system. What is water vascular system? We will be discussing in detail in the echinodermates. And then they are having a mesodermal skeleton of calcite plates. So their skeleton is made up of calcite plates and these plates join together to make the whole organism. And that's why uh, these are having some fossils. So uh, again, the echinoderms do have some fossil record, but their fossil record is not so good because their uh, calcite plates they tend to uh, disintegrate after the death of organism. So if there is rapid, uh, uh, you know, the organism get inundated with the sediments after just death or uh, was dead due to some, you know, avalanche, then we can have very good fossils of these organisms. So, uh, and then there are the pentameral symmetry and tube feet. So what does the pentameral symmetry mean? So that means you can divide the body of these organisms into five identical forms. Uh, the starfish, they are having five arm and each arm, if you multiply that single arm into five times and join them by a center, they, that sh still be present as a whole starfish. And they are having two feet, which is responsible for different functions that we will be discussing later. So, and then the, during the, uh, how did they develop? The, during the Cambrian radiation, many bizarre forms evolved. So Cambrian radiation, if you remember when we were discussing about the Cambrian radiation, there were a lot of different type of organism that were formed and among those were the echinoderms as well. There were the spindle shaped helicoplexus, uh, may be part of the stem group for entire phylum. So the helicoplexus, we will be discussing about that as well. This was the organism which was a uh, spindle shape. You know what spindle is. Uh, it is a structure uh, sort of uh, which is thicker in the middle and it is uh, thinner from there, uh, you know, across the length. So uh, the helicoplexus may be part of the stem group from, for the entire phylum. So it may be the ancestor of this whole phylum. So there are the palmetozoans, uh, fixed echinoderms, and then there are the um, blastoids, crinoids, and cystoids. We'll be discussing that in which era these organisms uh, were present. The crinoid for, had the four classes, which are the in, in and dunata, flexibilita, uh, camerata, and articulata. The Echinoids were the uh, part of the mobile benthos. So, uh, the benthic organisms are the organisms which are living at the uh, surface of, of the uh, lower part of the uh, sea, right? So, where the sediments are, 
there you uh, that is called benthos so mobile benthos are the organism that are moving there right so during the mesozoic irregular group adapted from uh, for burrowing evolved from more regular form that characterized the paleozoic so there were some organism which inhabited the different niches some were bur burrowing and living under the benthos as well and then there are the asteroids asteroids are the starfish which is the most famous one and they were more important in post paleozoic rocks their triassic radiation may have inhibited the re radiation of some key groups of brachiopods so if there is a niche and there is one organism which is able to better adapt to that niche those organism will flourish and the other organism which are less adaptable but having the same niche they will be not developing so much they will be having less population and they may even go extinct so that's what happened with the brachiopods during the triassic radiation the uh, asteroids or the starfish were uh, you know present in the benthos and the brachiopods which were present in the same niche they couldn't adopt and that's why their radiation was you know inhabited right so now the next uh, thing is about the car part so these are the uh, traditionally classed with the echinoderms some have argu argued that they were ancestral uh, to the chordates so chordate are the organisms which are are uh, having the uh, among those are the uh, vertebrates as well or the advanced organisms right so the, the chordate are the organism which are having notochord uh, formation in their embryos they were probably stem, stem group echinoderms and then there are the hemichordate which is a second group of deuterostomes uh, graptolites are hemichordate closely related to the living rhabdopulates uh, with the similar uh, similarly constructed rhabdosomes and ultrastructure so uh, these are the organisms which are uh, present in the hemichordate so hemichordates are related to the chordates but they are more advanced than the echinodermates but less advanced than the chordates the hemichordates are the graptolites probably pursued the benthic that uh, that are the dendroids benthic means that they were living in the bottom of the ocean planktic that they were floating in the ocean and among those were the dendroids and graptolites and then there are the automobiles that mean they were moving on their own and they were uh, uh, graptolites so they were the dif having different lifestyles in their uh, structures and then there comes the uh, uh, how they were evolved so graptolites evolved rapidly and they were widespread uh, widespread the ideal zone of fossils in the rocks of ordovician silurian and early devonian age so where would you find the best uh, uh, fossils of the graptolites you would find those in the ordovician to silurian and early devonian age 